On the x-axis, we have the hourly rate of pay for contact time. On the y-axis, we have uh, how much time people are spending traveling as a proportion of their contact time. <coughs> um, and if you're on the bottom side of that line, I will show you, you're going to be paid above the minimum wage. And if you're on the upside of that line, you're going to be paid uh, below the minimum wage. To make that a bit more concrete, this is the point where if someone was paid £11 an hour for their contact time, which would be a pretty generous, you know, a pretty decent rate of pay for a domiciliary worker, um, but if they were spending 10% of their time travelling, that would erode their pay, um, but they would end up at £10 an hour. So they're still well above, well not well above, but they're still you know, definitely above the minimum wage of £9.50. Hopefully everyone can see that you know, they start at 11, 10% of travel has dragged their average rate of pay down. If that same person uh, was, was, paying, uh, was paid £11 an hour for contact time but was spending 25% of their time travelling, that erosion of the average would now bring them below the minimum wage. So they would end up on £8.80 uh, an hour. So the question is, where do care workers fit on this chart? Are they sort of near the red dot or are they near the green dot? Uh, so to start with, uh, we can plot uh, average rates of pay in the sector. So these purple lines show you the, the median rate of pay on the right-hand side, that's £11.07 uh, for domiciliary workers, and at the 25th percentile as well, so that's £10.09. And, and the assumption I'm making here is that this is the rate of pay for their contact time. Like, like I said, I'm pretty sure that ASH, which is where this data comes from, annual survey of as and annual from NS, does not really account for travel time. So that's the, that's the pay, but the question is obviously to know where they fall in this chart, what, how much are they travelling, and 20% is the average. So that comes from the uh, Home Care Association, and, and I think it you know, comes from um, quite a large number of, 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 uh, of data points. I don't know which provider, but they, but they say they, they, they take it from a provider. Um, so 20% um, is the average rate of travel. Now that will vary, obviously in a rural area you'll have people spending much more time traveling, in a city it, it might be less, um, but that's the average. And that amounts to you know, 12 minutes per hour spent on a visit. So I think it's quite reasonable to assume, based on these averages that there are a large number of workers on that wrong side of the line so sitting uh, around here now some of them might be just the right side of the line so the providers might be getting it right they might have just enough buffer in their pay such that the travel time takes you down to the minimum wage um, but i think there are probably uh, a decent number where they're not quite getting it right and where that buffer isn't isn't quite enough now like i said the problem is we don't know i can't give you a hard and fast number i would love to be able to because there's no such data set uh, exists. But, so clearly we both need to measure this better, um, but I think on an ongoing basis providers uh, should be um, asked to record this uh, information.